Hi, this is Emily. I wanted to do an update video that is actually about, um, not so much about weight loss or any things I normally talk about. This update is to inform everyone basically who am I and what am I doing. So I wanted to talk about am I Am I a vegan or am I a person who is on a plant-based diet? Okay, this is a subject that's been weighing heavily on my mind and on my heart for about six months now. I started to use the word vegan probably about six months ago. And then if you notice, I've been using the word plant-based much more often now and there's a few reasons that I use the word plant-based to describe myself more so than I use the word vegan and I'm gonna get into that right now so first of all I just want to say it I am NOT a vegan I do not consider myself a vegan I am just not 100% vegan and a lot of people use this word and do refer to me as vegan you know I have friends and family who will say oh well Emily's a vegan so she doesn't eat this and that and I try to correct people as much as possible not because I don't want people to think I'm vegan I actually have no problem with people calling me that except it is not the truth and I don't want to mislead people, okay? So I'm not vegan. I am on a plant-based diet, okay? There is a difference. And if you are subscribed to me or if you're new to me, you know what? It's fine. You can go ahead and unsubscribe because a few months ago I made a decision that I refuse to be dogmatic about any of my dietary choices and life choices. I'm trying really hard to stay objective and to not be so judgmental. So here's one example that always bothered me in the past. All my life, people have been going on diets around me and they become super preachy, whether they're on Weight Watchers low carb, high carb, whatever the diet is, um, people become pretty dang preachy, like you shouldn't eat that, you shouldn't eat that. Well, I can't eat this anymore because it makes me gain weight and I'm not gonna eat that and you shouldn't be eating it either. That's how a lot of people respond to people who are not on a diet, <laughs> they're just kind of eating whatever. And I noticed this at a very young age and I've always tried to not be so dogmatic about my eating choices, about my food choices. But you know what? These things creep up on you and pretty soon you're judging people, you're giving people unwanted advice. So I've really tried to tone that down in the past year. I've really tried to just say nothing because I know how much I hate it when people try to push their beliefs on me, whether it's food or religion or anything else. Nobody wants to be pushed around on any subject, okay? So when it comes to not eating animals, I try to be non-judgmental, non-dogmatic, and I try to just basically leave people alone. If they want to try something that I'm doing, fine, great. I'll tell them about it. But if they don't want to, then fine. You know, you don't have to copy what I'm doing. <laughs> you can do whatever your heart desires. While on the other hand, if someone does want my help, I will give them every uh, book I own on the subject of health that I have. If you want it here, I will give it to you. We can talk about it, have discussions. I've accumulated a lot of knowledge and I love to help people through uh, whatever health, weight loss. I just had someone contact me asking me, uh, what am I doing to lose weight? Because they were diagnosed with a heart problem 
and I recommended them that um, Esselstyn, Dr. Esselstyn's book about preventing and reversing heart disease and how to heart attack proof yourself. He's written several books on the heart. So while I like to give advice, I also keep my mouth shut because I know how annoying it is when people are constantly judging you and saying, hey, why are you eating that? <laughs> That's bad for you. You're going to get fat. I'm sick of that. I've been sick of that since I was eight years old, okay? And that's part of the reason why I've had a weight problem my whole life, because I didn't want to be told what to do until I was ready to go and find that information for myself. So that's why I feel like when people are ready for it, they can go find whatever they want to do. It's up to them. Okay, so that being said, um, I also don't like the word vegan because while I do eat a, you know, vegan diet, I don't like to use the word vegan anymore because I don't feel that I'm 100% vegan. I feel like if I use the word vegan, I am a hypocrite because veganism is not a diet. Your diet is only part of veganism, okay? Veganism goes into more than just diet, it goes into lifestyle, it goes into philosophy, your whole life philosophy, it could even be part of your theology. So your ethics, it goes into every aspect of your life, whereas a person on a plant-based diet is merely on a diet. And they may choose to be on this diet for the rest of their life. They may choose to do it for a year, you know? I happen to be a person, this is how I define myself. I happen to be a person who is on a plant-based diet for the rest of my life. I've said this repeatedly. I want to find a diet that will keep me healthy, hopefully, with any luck, will keep me healthy, you know, there is a little bit of genetics in there, but that'll keep me healthy and keep me feeling like I'm happy in life. And that's what I'm going for. Um, so for that reason, because the definition of plant-based diet resonates with me much more than being a vegan, that's why I no longer use the word vegan. I use it very sparingly because I feel like a hypocrite when I use it, okay? So I use the word plant-based diet. So what is a plant-based diet then? It's a person who's minimizing animal products. And in my, in my opinion, a person on a plant-based diet is also minimizing harm towards animals as well. And so that would be a goal of a vegan as well. But people on a plant-based diet, you know, they don't have all of the ethics. They may not believe in all the ethics and philosophies of vegans. And a person on a plant-based diet, they're minimizing or eliminating meat, including white meat, dark meat, red meat, everything, uh, including fish, including dairy, and including... Uh, eggs, chicken eggs, or, you know, eggs of any kind. So you are eliminating or minimizing these things. So I have, uh, basically, I have not completely 100% eliminated all animal products from my diet. Because guess what? I'm a food addict. And even to this day, just three weeks ago, I had a piece of cake. Okay, I had a piece of cake that didn't, was not marked vegan. It was not marked plant-based. So I have to assume it had eggs or milk contained in it. And what I find is with my personal addiction, it's a combination of dairy and sugar, processed sugar. When I eat that combination of dairy and processed sugar, I'm out of sorts for an entire week. 
it's hard. It just one, one piece of cake. And it is hard for me the next day to go back to my green smoothies and my salads and my, my uh, plant-based dishes, my sweet potato, uh, I don't know, bean, bean burritos, what I, you know, whatever it is that I eat, my soups and salads and all this stuff, fruit. It's hard for me to go back to that. So I will eliminate the dairy and sugar for months on end, but when I'm in a room where there's a piece of cake, I find I can say no for about three hours and then I can't say no anymore and then I'm gonna eat it. No matter how much I tell myself not to, no matter what reason I give myself, I cannot stop. I can stop with one piece, I don't have to continue eating it, but after I eat that, I basically overeat for a week afterwards. It's like, um, I have to overeat in order to not go out and go to the grocery store and get a piece of cake. Like that's what it takes is a week of overeating in order to do that. So because I do mess up every few months, let's say, I don't feel comfortable calling myself a vegan. I just don't. I feel like a hypocrite. I don't like the feeling of making that mistake and then feeling guilty afterwards because that means I'm no longer vegan, you know? Um, but if I do mess up and have that piece of cake, I'm still on a plant-based diet. And so I don't have to have this overwhelming guilt strapping me down and holding me down for a week. And if I don't have this enormous amount of guilt feeling, then I can get back on my eating program so much easily. It takes three days if I don't have the guilt, okay? So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I don't know if I'm ever gonna go completely vegan because like I said, it's more than just a diet. A lot of people think that veganism is a diet and it's not. Diet is only a small part of it, okay? Here's an example. If I were to go out and buy a car, say, I don't believe in buying new cars. So let's say I'm gonna go out and buy a used car. I'm gonna get a car that has uh, cloth seats, fabric. I'm not gonna get leather because leather is the skin of a cow. <laughs> and a cow is an animal and I don't believe in killing animals. I just, I, in my opinion, we can live without eating meat and I never enjoyed eating meat to begin with since the age of like five years old. So I feel like if I'm not gonna kill a cow to eat it, why would I kill a cow to use it as leather, use its skin as leather to put in my car? You know what I mean? So for me, I feel like, yeah, I'm not gonna get leather in my car. Next time I go to buy a car, I'd be like, you know what, I'm gonna get some kind of fabric that is not using animal skin or hair, you know? Um, but if that was the only choice, then I guess I would have to do leather. But in the, in the real world, that doesn't really come up. And just recently, we needed, we had to buy a couch and we decided to buy a used couch. And when we were looking for a couch, I would say 80% of them were leather. So it was kind of a challenge to find a fabric couch, but we found one and we bought a, um, I don't know, some kind of synthetic fabric. I don't know what it is. Uh, basically our cat destroyed one of our couches. So yeah. So my point is while some people would say I am vegan because I don't eat animals, I don't eat dairy or eggs, I don't eat those things, but on special occasions, like at a wedding, I might go ahead and have a piece of cake with dairy in it, or you know what I mean? Like I've eliminated it mostly in my life, but there's still that little percentage that creeps in 
And I just refuse to be guilty about it anymore. I refuse because I feel like I'm doing the best I can. And if there are times when I end up partaking in certain foods that have animal products, I'm sorry, but it's going to happen sometimes. Not ideally, and I minimize it as much as I can because I do believe in a plant-based diet, but it does creep up on me sometimes. Uh, just the other day, we've been eating at this Thai restaurant for two years, and a couple months ago, we went in and ordered the vegetarian curry, and we always specify, can you make it vegan? And they always say yes. Well, we had this new waitress, and I, same thing, ordered the same thing and said, can you make the vegan curry, please? And she said, nothing here is vegan. And I said, are you sure? Can you go check with the cook? Because we always order vegan here. And so she went and asked the cook, and sure enough, their curry contains fish, fish juice? I forgot what she called it. <laughs> Something from a fish. Fish sauce. There it is. So for two years, we were eating that and not even knowing it. Things creep in, and I feel like instead of feeling guilty, I feel like I want to feel like, well, you know what? I didn't know, and I'm going to strive to do better. I always strive to do better. And so now that I'm done talking about that, <laughs> I'm going to bring up, there's this study by Joel Furman. He has a Nutritarian Research Foundation. And it is a Nutritarian Women's Health Study. So here's his website, and I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but it's on his website for the Nutritarian Research Foundation. There's a women's health study, and what they're doing is um, you get on their list, you, there's a link that you click on this website, and um, you sign up to be on their list for the research study. It's for women only, and they what they want to do is track women for the next 10 years, starting in 2015. They want to track women for the next 10 years, and they're going to be checking up on our health, so like they're looking to minimize breast cancer and other diseases through a nutritarian or eat to live is what nutritarian means um, diet. So for the next 10 years, they're going to be measuring incidence of breast cancer and then other diseases like autoimmune diseases and stuff like that. So I've decided I'm going to be a part of that. They only want women, and they only want women who are dedicated to staying on the Eat to Live Nutritarian plan for the next 10 years at least, because the study is going to go on for at least 10 years. So I've decided I'm at least going to stick with this for 10 years, and I'll be reporting to them if I get cancer or any other crazy illness. So, um, I just wanted to mention that, that I'm committed to a plant-based diet. I'm going to be doing this for at least the next 10 years. And, sorry, my braces get in the way. And, um, while I, I don't consider myself a vegan, I consider myself on a plant-based diet and, um, I, I don't know what else to say. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them and I will answer. And um, if you want to unsubscribe, I understand. Or if you're new and you don't want to watch me anymore, I completely understand. I felt the same way about six months ago. I only wanted to watch vegan channels because I really wanted to do this vegan diet that I thought was a diet, but really it's more than a diet. Veganism is more than a diet. So I want a plant-based diet. I am not 100% vegan. I'm doing my best to minimize my 
um, to maximize my compassion towards all beings, humans, animals, the environment, uh, minimize my carbon footprint. I'm doing everything I can and not eating meat actually does a lot for our environment. Um, there's a great documentary that I still haven't seen, but it's called Cowspiracy. I've read a lot about it and I can't wait to see that. But anyway, that's getting a little off point. Sorry. But I'm done with this now. This is a really long video. So anyway, I'm going to leave you with that and I'll talk to you guys later. Look for my weight loss update at the end of the month. Bye.